Hey Dazzlers, happy November and welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope that you are safe and doing well. In today's video, I share with you a fun, whimsical, Pinterest-inspired DIY using inexpensive items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Now let's get started. I'm starting off with six of these four and a half inch Dollar Tree mirrors. I removed the black tabs and stickers from the mirrors and then I used a strong adhesive to adhere four of the mirrors together. I allowed the glue to dry for about 20 minutes before adding a fifth mirror on top. I then added tumbling tower wood game pieces to the back of my sixth and final mirror. Next, I painted the wood pieces with some black paint that I already had at home. Next, I added some hot glue to the inside corners of my mirror box. I then used a Dollar Tree metallic marker to paint the outside corners of the mirror box as well. This step is completely optional. Here, I'm adding some Dollar Tree glitter ribbon to the outside of my mirrored box. Here, I'm using those same materials to decorate the top of my box. I didn't like how the top perimeter looked more gray than silver, so I decided to cover that portion of the top with the glitter ribbon as well. And just so you know, this glitter ribbon has horrible fallout. So prepare to have glitter everywhere unless you decide to seal the ribbon with Mod Podge or some type of sealant.
I then added small Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments and floral foam to the inside of my mirrored box. I'm only adding two layers of the Christmas bulbs and a few extra towards the front of my mirror box. And I'll explain why I'm doing this a little bit later on in the project. You can then just add the top and be done with this project but you guys know i'm a little extra so i decided to add these dollar tree cold white led lights as well You'll notice that I've placed the battery pack in the center of the top, but I ended up moving this over to one side so that the top would sit a bit better on top of the ornaments. Because I added fewer Christmas ornaments towards the back of the box and repositioned my battery pack, I was able to tilt the top of my box like this. And now that I've added light underneath the top, I need it to cover up most of the bottom of the box with the glitter ribbon as well. To complete the project, I used more of the glitter ribbon to create a bow for the top of my mirrored box. And here's the finished look. I really love how my Christmas ornament filled mirrored box turned out. It was fun, easy, inexpensive to make, and I think it turned out beautiful. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I have more Christmas DIYs to share with you. Here's a sneak peek into next week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Dazzlers, bye.